Hey guys, we are back with another video. Dave from Timber Time Outdoors. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. In this video, we're gonna look at a chainsaw. And this is no ordinary chainsaw. This is a Toro electric flex force chainsaw. So what we're gonna do is give it a little uh, overview, kind of a review and a mini test. So stay with us, guys. Hey now, take a step outside and seize the day. All right, electric chainsaw. I don't know, man. I'm a little bit, uh, a little bit nervous about this. Um, the tool fairy dropped this off, so this isn't something that I purchased. But I'm excited to uh, put it through the paces, and the reason I'm excited is I have a lot of Toro stuff, and I love Toro. They're one of my favorite companies. I have a zero turn. I have their uh, blower. This is their Flex Force blower. I think I have a gas blower. What else? Oh, I got a two stage snow blower. That thing's a beast. You've probably seen that in some of my videos. So I'm a Toro fan. I just don't know if I'm a fan of a chainsaw made by Toro. Now, when we get into this here, I think you're gonna find that Toro did some things really well with this chainsaw. But at the end of the video, I'm gonna give you one thing that I think they, they kind of missed the boat on. And uh, it's, it's kind of chainsaw 101, but we'll talk about that at the very end here. So um, we're gonna, we're gonna kind of dive into what it is I'm gonna take it through some cutting. Um, so I'll kind of test the batteries, test the power, and then uh, we'll give you some final thoughts on this. All right, so first off, you know, electric chainsaws are kind of geared towards a certain audience. And I'm actually not like an expert on who that audience is. I'm gonna speculate a little bit here, and I would actually like your comments on, you know, who's this really made for? Because it, it's probably not made for a guy like me, although I do have a specific use for it. I'm going to keep this in the ranger on the hunting property because every time we go down some of those hunting roads, there's always a tree over the, over the path. And so having a quick, you know, hey, I can cut a tree up real quick type of saw for me, um, where I don't have to worry about gas and starting it, that's going to be great. And I think that's kind of the niche for this thing. You know, it's for Joe homeowner. He doesn't really want to get into, you know, gas powered. Um, you know, chainsaws like, you know, I have with the 500i, it weighs, you know, a lot of weight and lots of power. He doesn't really need that or she, um, you know, and I mentioned she because this might be geared towards the ladies a little bit more maybe, um, just because it's so simple. You know, you pull the trigger and go. It does need uh, bar chain oil. So, you know, you do have some petroleum products involved here, but for the most part, let's keep the battery charged, keep the blade sharp and, uh, you know, pull the trigger and cut up whatever you want to. So, you know, I'm kind of thinking it's for the guy or gal that, you know, has got some, some trimming to do, maybe some tree trimming, although there's that problem I men mentioned at the beginning. You know, it's going to come into play here, even for that Joe homeowner. But uh, in my, my personal opinion, that's kind of who it's geared for. It's someone who is, you know, a very occasional user. They're probably not making firewood like I am, although I'm going to, I'm going to see what this thing can do. I got a pile of logs over here, so we're going to cut up some logs a little later. But that's my feeling on who this is geared towards. I'd love your, to hear your comments on, you know, who's going to take advantage of an electric chainsaw. I know there's other brands out there, Milwaukee and uh, Steel's got one. There's uh, some others too. Um, but I will tell you this, Toro has an incredible battery system and uh, we'll get into it here. So here's a couple of their batteries. Um, by the way, this one is, a, is very heavy and this one is a, a 400 watt hour and this one is 135 watt hour. Um, so two different batteries. Um, you know, the one that came with my blower is the smaller one. And uh, it works pretty well for what I use the blower for. You know, that, again, that's that quick, oh, I wanna just dust off the patio type of thing. And um, what's cool about this blower, not that this is a blower video, but it has this blue button on here, this is a turbo. And uh, maybe I'll do a little test here, but you push that button and it like triples the speed and you know, if you got some stubborn thing you wanna blow off, uh, it'll blow it off. But, you know, the more power you use, the more battery you use and the quicker the battery dies. So when you use that blue button, the battery dies. Very light battery. This one here is a tank. And, you know, the chainsaw comes with the heavier battery, obviously because it's going to require a lot more power. And when you hit that blue button, you, you drain this thing pretty quickly. So um, I'm going to try the battery, you know, both batteries in here and give it a go and see what happens. But um, I suspect you're going to have to go with the heavy battery. 
All right, let's get into it. Let's kind of walk around this this uh, machine here and, and kind of talk through it. So, you know, it's got your basic stuff um, minus the gas tank. So this here is your, your bar chain oil. And I do like how it's got a nice, um, if I can get it to work, flip up type of uh, uh, lid. Um, there's your bar and chain. By the way, this is uh, it takes an Oregon chain. So you can buy those, you know, at any hardware store or whatnot. Um, comes with the guard. The bar is a little small um, compared to the chainsaw. It's kind of one observation. I don't know that that matters all that much if you're just cutting limbs. But um, that was just an observation. You know, I'm so used to using great big saws now, so, you know, this seemed a little strange to me. But I think for what we're, you know, what this is intended to do, this is probably a decent size. Um, put that back on. What else we got here? We got a chain brake. And uh, this is an electric chain brake. Um, we'll put it through a test, see if it, it does its job. I assume it will. Um, but the specs say that that's an electric brake. Uh, what else can I tell you? I know it has a, this here is the release for the battery. And uh, when you go to start this, you push this button in, kind of like a lot of tools, kind of a safety switch, push this in, pull the trigger, and it'll kind of ramp up and get to full speed. It's not like a gas powered saw where you, know, you kind of have a, a throttle control. You can go faster or slower and work your way through the log. This one basically just speeds up, goes to full speed. You hold the trigger down and you cut um, and just kind of apply pressure or release pressure. So that's kind of how that works. Um, yeah, I mean, it's got a way to adjust uh, the bar and the chain. Um, I do like that it has two bolts, so um, it's very likely to stay nice and tight. You know, it, it's got the chain tightener, you know, like every saw does, you just uh, turn it with a screwdriver. I think somewhere on this thing, it has a tool. Yep, right on the back end here. You know, like most chainsaws, it comes with a tool of some kind. So you got a screwdriver on one end, bolt on the other. You know, so that's good. Um, so it's all self-contained for the most part. And then, then we got the batteries here. So like I said, it comes with a heavy battery. And uh, all you do is charge it up, drop it in place to get it out. Oops, snaps in place like that. To get it out, you push the button, and it comes out. Um, this battery does fit in here, but it's kind of a little space there. I don't know, it's a little weird. I'm gonna try it. You know, I don't know if it's gonna gonna cut very long with that smaller battery in there, but um, we'll give it a try. Uh, here is the charger, so. Comes with a charger and kind of your normal lights to tell you, you know, the, hey, the battery's too cold to charge. I'm charging, I'm full charged. Super simple. Um, so, you know, that's the beauty of this thing is that it's really simple. So let's jump into it here. Um, we'll cut some logs. I'm gonna test the batteries and then we'll come back with some final thoughts. All right, so we're gonna start off with a heavy battery, um, bigger battery. Get that in place here. We'll get some safety equipment on, get my helmet on, get some chaps on. But yeah, maybe before we walk over to the wood pile, just give you a, you know, push the safety button. You can see how it ramps up. You know, I have a, a little bit of throttle control. Um, it's pretty loud actually. Hopefully you can hear that. But yeah, let's, uh, let's see if the chain brake works. Oh yeah, works good. All right, let's get over to the wood pile and uh, test these batteries. All right, so what we're gonna do here at first, we're just gonna make a few cuts. Um, we'll talk through some of my initial, um, you know, feelings on it. I haven't actually used it in any wood yet. And then I'll do a time lapse and try to drain these batteries. And, uh, you know, I think they say with the big battery, you get about 50 cuts, which, you know, that isn't <laughs> anywhere near what I need for making firewood, but you know, for a homeowner, it's probably fine. So let's just see how accurate that is. We'll try both batteries. I suspect that lower battery uh, isn't gonna do so good, but um, let's give it a go here. Get the helmet on and, uh, and fire things up.
All right, let's see here. I'll get my earmuffs off. All right, so initial thoughts. Obviously, this is a completely different game from, you know, a, a pro saw or something that you're going to use to, you know, you're going to use to cut firewood. Um, I do like how it cuts. It actually is very smooth. Um, you know, it's got a very narrow bar on it, so, you know, it's got less resistance. I think people are going to like this from, you know, from a homeowner perspective. Let's, uh, I, I'm impressed. You know, um, I came in with low expectations and uh, it succeeded those. But let me, uh, let me take this into, uh, you know, this pile here. Let's drain the battery and see how many cuts we get. We'll do a time lapse. That's the battery. Yikes. Well, that was seriously impressive. We're gonna pile, pile up all these rounds and count them and see what we got, but I think it got way more than 50 cuts. Kind of a double-edged sword. Sorry, I'm out of breath. And that's the double-edged sword. I'm very tired. And at the beginning of this video, I mentioned this thing's a tank. And it's mainly due to this big battery. So super impressed with how many, how many cuts it made. I was praying for this thing to die. But ergonomically, this thing is, uh, is not something you want to use in production. That's for sure. Because I am absolutely pooped and my arms are like cramping up. So super heavy, but... Man, it is impressive what it can do. I did not expect a battery to last this long. Uh, I'm not going to test that small battery because I'm totally cached, but, you know, for day-to-day -day use, the smaller battery might be better just because it's lighter if you're getting over your head, you know, with some limbs. This would be tough to do. Uh, so, so some good and some bad. Um, I, all in all, I'm impressed. It definitely has a place in your arsenal. So let's... Uh, Let's count up the rounds and see what it did, because that was ridiculous. I, again, I don't know. Uh, you know, compare this to my 500i. That's at least a tank, a tank of gas with the 500i, no question about it. So, you know, this is probably, a, I don't know, four face cords maybe. And I'm guessing I did two face cords with this thing. I don't know, I'll have to pile it up and count it, but uh, wow. All right, let's, let's pile it up. All right, we got her piled up here. I don't know, said four feet high, I suppose. That's probably a face cord. Maybe a little more. Um, I did not expect it to do this well. So, you know, I didn't count them, but uh, it, it's, it's, it's an impressive battery, let's say that. All right, so that's it, Force, Flex Force Toro Chainsaw. Um, one other thing I thought about while I was piling this up, one thing it does not like to do, it doesn't like to plunge, and it doesn't like to, you know, cut with the tip. It vibrates really bad and just, it doesn't cut. You know, so again, that's a firewood guy thing where you don't want to bend over and you just kind of want to nip off some smaller rounds or whatever. But, you know, 
you got to go in with different expectations. This isn't a 500i. This is an electric chainsaw, and it did awesome for an electric chainsaw. It would be fun to actually put it against some others. I don't, I've never used another chainsaw that's electric. The only other ones I've used some Husqvarna's that are, you know, gas powered. I have my steel 261 uh, C and then my 500i. So that's the experiences that I have. And this thing, you know, it's not as good as the 261, but uh, it's, <laughs> I'm gonna use the heck out of this thing. It's, it's awesome. So if you're thinking about an electric chainsaw, I highly recommend it. Toro's a great brand. Um, they make quality stuff. They stand behind their equipment. I can't say enough about Toro. I love all my Toro stuff. I love orange, I love red. Wrap this video up, guys. If you liked it, please hit the like button. Um, if you want me to do another test of any kind, let me know in the comments and I will do it. Um, you know, I'm always looking for things to do. So like, share, subscribe, send to your friends and remember everybody, keep it in the timber. Bye-bye.